do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos as mentioned in your screen there is a question which is based on arena's equation which says that the rate constant for the first order decomposition of a hydrogen peroxide is given by the equation log of k which is equals to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 kelvin per temperature so now in this case we have to calculate the ea for the reaction and at what temperature will its half period be 256 minute in this case one thing i have to tell you that the temperature is also not been mentioned here because the temperature is being mentioned as t itself so therefore the thing is we have to calculate the temperature also that is t and we have to calculate the energy of activation that is ea so let us see how can we do this the equation itself gives various data so first of all let us write the equation and let us extract the data from that equation the equation which is given is log of k is equals to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 k divided by t this equation is very much equal to the Arrhenius equation that we have earlier did a derivation on that so we know that so we know that according to Arrhenius equation that is log of k is equals to log of a minus ea divided by r into t so in this case the log of k is represented by log of k itself in this case the log of a value has been taken by 14.34 so therefore we have got to know that the log of a in this case is 14.34 while well, as we can see that is the value of 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 is the value of ea divided by r so therefore the value of ea divided by r is nothing but 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 so by the help of this as you know the value of the gas constant that is 8.314 we could substitute the value here and we could evaluate the uh, energy of activation value so let us see by equating or by substituting the value of r here that is gas constant so therefore we have got a value that is ea divided by r is nothing but 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 so therefore ea will be 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 multiplied by 8.314 so the answer that we could get is one point sorry 10 point 392 into 10 raised to 4 joules this is what we have got the value of ea and now what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the value of k because the half lifetime that is the half period is given as 256 minutes therefore the t half which is given as 256 minutes it would be very much helpful to evaluate the value of k how we also know the formula for a first order reaction because it is the first order reaction that they have been mentioned so we know that t half is nothing but 0 0.693 divided by k 
and now we don't know the value of k so we can substitute the value of t half here and we could evaluate the value of k so let us do it the value of t half was 256 minutes which is equals to 0 0.693 divided by k that is rate constant therefore k is equals to 0 0.693 divided by 256 so let us see what will be the answer it has given a value of 2.707 into 10 raised to minus 3 the unit in this case will be because since this is 256 minutes so the unit of k would be minute inverse so this is what we have got the value of k so value of everything is now been calculated and the thing that we are going to calculate is the temperature so we'll substitute every value in the given equation and let us see what will be the value of temperature that we'll get So therefore the equation that we know is log of k which is equals to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 divided by t and this is the t that we have to calculate. Now recently we have got the value of log recently we have got the value of k also. So therefore <coughs> So recently we have got the value of k also so therefore log of k which is given as 2.707 into 10 raised to minus 3 equals to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 divided by t so therefore we will get a value of The value of this equation will be minus 2.56 which is equals to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 by t. So this whole equation can be written in the so this whole equation can be written in the form of I'll take this value over this side so this will give me 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 I'll take the value on this side so this will be 14.34 this will come here so this will become plus 2.56 so eventually I am getting an answer as 16.9 for this one but we have to calculate the value of t also so this is 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 divided by t so what i'm going to do is now substitute the value therefore 1.25 into 10 raised to 4 divided by 16.9 is equals to t therefore the value of t will be 739.6 but we represent the temperature in Kelvin so therefore this is the answer that we have got so 
by this formula or by this equation we have calculated the first one that is energy of activation that is ea then next we have calculated the uh, value of temperature here also that is t and we have also calculated because with the help of the rate constant k we have got a value of the temperature also in this case so it was a very much uh, simple uh, numerical which we have solved uh, right now so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have uh, liked this video and you have got an idea how to solve this kind of numerical so please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe eGita channel thank you so much